Hey guys, Ryan Stileson here with Accelerate Marketing. And today I'm gonna to talk to you about the new newsletter that just came out for the month of May or June, 2024. So for you guys that are actually using local service ads, these updates are really important because you can get a lot of really good information that can help you stay out of the Google doghouse, which means that you're gonna continue to get your leads. I mean, if, if not, if you're in Google's doghouse, you're not gonna get any leads. So we're one of about 30 or 40 agencies nationwide that have been selected to be partners with Google Local Service Ads. And as such, we meet with them every week. And that's what I've given you today. It is our newsletter that we get most months, not every month, but this month we did get one for May and June. And it's a really important update. It's a really interesting one. The first thing is that they're automating the credit process. A lot of people get about 30, 40, 50% of their disputes approved by Google for them to get repayment or to, to get paid back at the end of the month. You get a credit and it's a lot. You know, when you're paying for leads and you're able to get a refund or a credit back at the end of the month towards your next month's purchase of leads, that's a big deal. I mean, you know, Google pay per click never made that available. So this is a really big deal. It's great for people that didn't dispute a lot of leads because they were afraid that the Google gods were gonna take away their lead volume. And at some point there was a little bit of validity to that, but not really. You know, we've looked at the data over time. We've met and worked with hundreds of businesses throughout the years for local service ads optimization specifically. And we have not seen a correlation unless you're just absolutely disputing all leads. So first of all, it is an automatic crediting process. So Google's basically taking the distribution process out of your hands. You don't have to do it anymore. They're doing it. They're saying that you're gonna get more overall credits and you're gonna be able to see the actual newsletter yourself. And there's some links to help articles, etc. Your feedback matters. We do want to hear from you. Please share your feedback about individual leads through the new lead feedback survey, okay? So this is important. For agencies like us, you know, a lot of businesses are like, okay, what are you guys gonna be doing now? I mean, you're not gonna be disputing calls, but there's a new survey that allows us to help you get the best leads possible to really hone in on what type of leads that you're trying to get, okay? So this is what we're gonna do now. Instead of going through the distribution process, we're gonna be going through a survey process that helps us to ratchet in on what type of leads that you want so that you get the best leads possible. When is this happening? This should launch in July. There's no action required. I'm recording this video towards the end of July, so it should be happening anytime soon. You guys will get notification of it. Just be on the lookout for it, okay? So that's a big first entry there for the newsletter, okay? The second thing is, is launch a new LSA equivalency program. So Local Service Ads now offers a program that allows approved businesses, brands, and enterprises to conduct their own screening and verification checks. That's pretty cool. I mean, you can actually do your own screening and verification if you meet certain minimum requirements, which are gonna be listed here. You have a, there's a link to the, to the PDF. We'll put the PDF in the description. So if you meet that requirement, go for it. Handyman and Painter migration complete. So Painter is now its own vertical, separate from Handyman. This is a big deal for painters. If you're a painter, you don't have to play second fiddle to the handyman category. And it's important that you guys understand the distinction between category and job types. The category is the main heading, okay? Painter, handyman, contractor, electrician, plumber, okay? Underneath that, there's job types, okay? That's the language that I want you guys to use so that we're all on the same page here. So <clears throat> that's how Google refers to it. Handyman job types, paint indoors and paint outdoors have been migrated to the new painter vertical. Handyman providers received an email notifying them of the change. This is great, because now you can really probably get more specified leads and be more particular about your budget and probably get more leads overall because it's got its own category. So to continue receiving painting leads after the migration, log into your account and upload a painter's license. Get that license there. And then if you have any questions, please either work with your account manager or contact your support team here. So there's that. Okay, remember I talked about this in one of the previous videos. I said this is coming. U.S. lawyer identity verification now in effect for a selected state. So there is a link to the screening and verification requirements that tell you which states this is applying to. And it gives you an idea of what you need to do. Ensure that lawyer name matches all documentation. So you want to make sure that your name matches all the documentation that they're asking for. 
and then complete the ID verification check. Okay, so please do that. Why has my ad stopped serving? It's probably stopped serving. This is one of the reasons because you have not gone through the verification. So this is important information, guys. If you're not doing this stuff, your lead volume is gonna get shut off, okay? So it's really important that you do this stuff, okay? So here's one of the most important things that we are really, really stoked about. The updates in the Google's API version 17 release. Okay, what does this mean to you guys? Nothing really, because if you don't have software, if you don't connect to the Google local service ads API, then this really doesn't matter to you. But what does this tell you? I read between the lines, okay? It's what they're doing is, number one, they're adding the expiration time as a field for license and insurance verification artifacts. Meaning, if you've got a software like we do, we are gonna let you know through our software, through the API that we're connecting to, that you've got a license or a insurance verification that needs to be approved. It's gonna be right when you log in. Why? Because it's important. If you don't do this, you ain't getting no leads, okay? And this happens all the time. I just talked to a guy yesterday where this is exactly happening to him, okay? So please, don't do what this guy did yesterday who will remain anonymous. He's a realtor and he just didn't know. He's like, hey, I've been letting this run for a long time. He was paying twice as much for the leads that he's generating. Why do that? When you can pay half as much and talk to fewer people because of the conversion rate's higher in order to get what you're getting with another lead source, okay? And all you gotta do is just make sure that your license and your insurance are maintained and up to date, et cetera. His warrant and his budget was like so low, he didn't even understand it. So here's the big part though. Introduced a service for clients to reply to message leads in the API front. It applies to all message leads, including email and SMS. What I'm taking this as is reading between the lines, Google is paying attention to how easy it is for people to respond to message leads. Okay. Message leads are important. That's what this is telling me. They are important. We've seen in data where if you just improve your message response time, meaning the amount of time that you take to respond to message leads, your lead volume we saw this in a, in a 20 location personal injury attorney can triple is what we saw. As long as the response rate for voice leads stays the same, then what's going to happen is Google is going to look to those message leads to determine if they're going to send you more leads or not. Yes, you heard it right. Message lead response rate can determine the voice lead volume. Enter. Make sure that enters and registers. Okay, that's really important, guys. Okay, bottom line is, guys, a lot of changes this week. Please be aware of them. Pay attention to your message leads. I'm gonna actually record a video right now that I'm gonna record for next week. So be on the lookout for how to optimize your message leads and what to watch out for when you're actually responding to message leads. Because if you're using an automated system, an AI system, which hopefully you are, and if you're not, we can help you do that. Why? So that you can have your response time be basically zero. Like you'll have that sentence that says, typically replies in minutes in your ad every single time. And by the way, that is what increases the lead volume. That's why that one business had a significant increase in the lead volume over time. A tripling was because it took about a month for it to go into effect after the implementation of a system for responding to message leads quickly. Once that was implemented, it took a month. And then for that little blurb that says, you know, typically replies in minutes, and then all of a sudden tripling in the lead volume. And I want you guys to hear this, okay? There's actually a compounding effect because not only do you get an increase in the lead volume, you get an increase in conversion rate. So that's where the compounding happens. So let's say you have 100 leads because you respond to message leads faster you get 50% more. So now you get 150 leads. Okay, your conversion rate before, let's say was 20%. Well, let's say now it's 30%. So now you're multiplying 30% of not 100, but 30% of 150 leads. So now your overall revenue goes up by almost double just because you implemented the message response from an AI agent, okay? That's what we're talking about, guys. I mean, if you're using local service ads, and you've not set up an AI agent. It's not a matter of if, it's just a matter of when, okay? So everybody that's been the early adopter of new technologies has been the one that wins. So I want you to win. Let me know what questions you have. We finally have a solution for response rate. Text us at 619-304-5155 and create a better experience, not only for your local service ad leads, but also for everybody else, okay? So if you wanna 
engage with me, text me directly. Again, that's my cell phone number. I'm looking forward to talking to you. Glad I was able to give you these updates. Let me know what questions you have. Thanks, bye.